Roswell Honda in New Mexico, and uh, we're talking about Vin Solutions CRM. Again, in my opinion, Vin Solutions is one of the top five CRMs that I like at Dealer Synergy. So this is a, a positive statement, but I don't like how it just comes out out of the box. What you guys need to do is you need to customize your CRM so it fits your process and protocol. Rockstar. All right, so what we need to do is this, is that, <laughs> again, let's go identify yourself. Okay, you were saying there's a problem. What happens with VIN or any CRM, but with the one you're using right now, that frustrates you? But once we get a hold of them, the process kind of goes whack because it doesn't go with what we talked to them about. So let's go through this. So right now you have an automated CRM protocol that's in here, but yet when you engage the prospect, it's still triggering the automated processes. Bill, as the director, that needs to be disabled and that needs to be, you know, that needs to stop. In our system, there's two process protocols. You have a follow-up protocol and then you have a engagement protocol. The follow-up protocol is the blitzkrieg and follow-up email phone call, but whenever there's type of engagement, whether it's a voicemail, an email, a phone conversation, social media, it needs to stop the blitzkrieg. That's the first thing. The next thing is how many active leads do you have? About 100. About 100, but yet when I go here and follow up, it says that you only have 10 follow-ups that are in here. That doesn't make any sense, does it? So what should happen is when you're going through the dealer synergy system, you come in, you do the dealer synergy three minute book to get the mental chiropractic alignment, hashtag chiropractic alignment, there you go. And what you wanna be able to do is you wanna handle your fresh leads. So after you handle your fresh leads, what do I mean by handle? Well, the Vin Solutions tool should be deploying the automatic email responses. You need to call them manually. After you handle the fresh leads, then you wanna to go to your responses or your replies. What does that mean? Well, somebody is replying back to one of your email templates or to a previous email, you wanna open it, read it, and then respond accordingly on a case-to-case -case -case basis. But here's where it falls down. Right now, then you've got a follow-up thing here. There's only 10 follow-up actions that are here that basically tells you supposedly who you should call and who you should you know, uh, email. What I want you to do is take that off. I want you to turn on and just take that off and, and don't have the automated protocol. I want you to be process driven, almost like buckets or lists or folders. In the dealer synergy process protocol, I want you to A, after you do your three minute book, look at your calendar. First thing I want you to be able to do is look at your tasks and see your appointments. Like right now, look at your appointments right there. You've got three appointments that are scheduled today. What should be on your appointment board, right? What should be on your appointment board is not just the appointments that are coming in for in-store visitor test drive, but they should be specific reminders. Like I mentioned before, if somebody says, oh, you know, Jenna, I, I can't talk right now, call me tomorrow at three o'clock. That should be right there, it's, an, it's a phone call appointment. Hey, you know, Jeanette, I'm gonna call you uh, at 5.30 today. You know, you're gonna be available? Absolutely, it's a reminder right there. Also, the prime time to connect on the phone is between 6 and 8 p.m. So what you wanna be able to do is you wanna be able to always look at your CRM and see when you're time stamping, when you're calling people. And if you notice, oh snap, I haven't really called this person at you know between six and eight, you could set yourself a specific phone appointment to have a different approach to call. Make sense? How about social media? It's, the social media is the number form of communication. Vin Solutions has social media integration. Do you guys know that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you guys all using your social media integration feature in Vin Solutions? Yes. Everybody's using it. I am. Yeah. Ladies, that would be a no. All right, good, so it's okay. But you can turn around and set reminders for yourself that if you've tried to call and email people for like a week or two weeks straight and you haven't got them, set a reminder. Maybe you wanna Facebook them, maybe you wanna link them, maybe you wanna tweet them. Does that make sense? How about this, after like two or three weeks of follow-up and you have not got the prospect on the phone, maybe you wanna send a Blue Mountain or, uh, or Hallmark card or greeting cards one, two, three. Set reminders, how strong is that? That way it's not just aimless stuff, it's specific strategic stuff. Okay, so now let's go through it. Three minute book, you're looking at your calendar, then you're gonna handle your fresh leads. After your fresh leads, you're gonna handle your responses, your replies. After you handle that, see how Mint Solutions drops down to follow up? I don't like that. What I want you to be able to do, theoretically, you might not be able to do it in the tool, but theoretically is go to leads that are 31 days or less with a phone number and some type of verbal communication. After you get through that list or that bucket, then you wanna to go to leads that are 31 days or less with a phone number and no verbal communication. Then you wanna to go to leads that are day 32 to day 90, and that's the initial follow-up. Another video will talk about post 30 day follow-up, but that's what you're supposed to do you know, for the first 30 days, and then I kinda of gave you that last bucket for day 32 to day 90, okay? Again, what you do not wanna do, and this is the major reason why, is you don't wanna be in a situation team where you're thinking that the computer has got everything right because you might be phone call, phone call, phone call, phone call, email, 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 but when I click last activity, 
you'll be shocked to find that there's sometimes you're not calling people for three days, seven days, a week, and that's because there's a lag and there's gaping holes. So to eliminate those holes, you do not become, you know, um, kind of, I don't know, hooked on the, the CRM. You want to be process hooked on yourself. So now you guys were also talking about that this happens too. Can you validate anything I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Give me, give me your BJ. What, what, how do you see this is correct for you? As far as what, as far as the whole, I mean, the not comes. being chained to have the process, the computer tell you who to phone call or email. Why do you think it's better that you should just have a button, even if you couldn't subcategorize for 31 days or less with the phone number and verbal, you know? But if you could at least just go to all active, why do you think? Well, it's just like you classified. I mean, you instead of having one big file folder and having no tabs and color codes or anything like that, in this case, it's all you know, one big file with different color codes and different tabs and stuff to where we can just click on that area and still be able to have all those customers right up front versus having to go actually search for them or not having them at all. Right, now let's go back here. You, you said you have 100 leads. Okay, tell me about your day because if you, I'm looking at your, your, your process protocol here, you've got zero new leads, zero replies, and 11 follow-ups. What happens after you bang through 11 follow-ups? Who do you call? I just go into my, I actually have a folder where I have all my new leads and I call them through there. Okay, just your new leads. But what about the people? Let's say you were here for 90 days. Okay, let's just say you were here for 60 days and, and you get through that. How do you, how do you know how to get to your leads that are all active? Um, you, have, you can search them on customer search. And then do you do that every single day? Not every day, but most, sometimes I do. Okay, you just went, you just, I appreciate you being honest. So she just went from, eh, to, to sometimes okay and that's okay because that's the reality but as as a you're the GSM correct yes sir okay do you believe in 100% TO process on your showroom floor absolutely okay so then why would we let any any lead squeak through the cracks if you turn around and I, this is like the, the taste test challenge I guarantee you if you go to Vince Solutions right now let's do it I don't care on camera and if you could figure out what the damn report is for last activity I guarantee I would put money on this you guys know what I charge. I'll come out here for free, and this is a freaking voyage. If you can prove me wrong, I guarantee you, if you go, yeah, this is a voyage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, if you go to Vince Solutions right now and you look at all your active leads for internet and phones for the last 90 days, I guarantee you there's people that have not been called and not been emailed for two straight days, three straight days, hell, a week straight. Do you believe that? Yes. Okay. You're the internet director. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Okay. Now, why would we do that? Why would we turn around and ever let a day go by and not call a prospect that's interested in buying a vehicle? And here's how I know how this is the reality, is that the average buying cycle is 45 to 90 days, right? The residual flow factor means that it, this is the month of you know, uh, April. You have, let's say, 400 active leads. If you sold 40, 50 cars, or you're not selling that many. How many are you selling this month? The internet. You sold 21 after the internet, right off the internet. So then what's gonna happen? What about all those leads that carry over to May? You're going to start May, people, with 300 leads. And you're going to get another 400. In the month of May, you're going to have 700 leads. You guys are not making 200 calls a piece every day or 150 calls a piece every day, right or wrong. Every single day, without exception, without fail. So that means mathematically, you know, mathematically, there's no way that you could call your people every single day. So you're only catching the low-hanging fruit. And it's compounded a problem when your serum is not conducive to that. So again, this is a good tool. You just need to repurpose it and customize it for the strategy of methodical follow-up. Make sense? Makes sense. Okay, and I'm gonna stop.